a genuine guy. Yeah. It was really rough to watch. That was, that was an unfortunate upset there for Pow Pow, but Fonz is the benefactor. And he is a strong player, so I'm not surprised to see him succeed. Yeah. All right. Smash Relics, game one. Cloud, Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. A matchup that um, is kind of, you know, people are curious. Like, people say Cloud wins, and then Clouds have just kind of had a poor matchup have a poor record against the Diddy Kongs at the highest level. Yeah. So we're going to have to see what he can pull out here. And he starts with the short head up here. Yeah, man, absolutely, man. It's, it could just be the nature of Diddy Kong, man. He's just so offensively sound. I mean, he can play very defensive if he wants. He can play the keep away game with the banana. It's not really much that Cloud can do about it. Now, sometimes banana heavy gameplay does promote uh, a campier play style, which means Cloud might just run off and do the limit charge. But I think Diddy Kong will just let him have it for the most part. Yeah, um, if you can, hide, you can hide on that platform and charge limit pretty safely on Smashville, which is why Clouds like the stage, and it helps the recovery. But here comes a quick combo here from Zenodo, and he's going to get that D-tilt, making him have to burn the limit. Yeah. The next one, that could be stocked. Now he's going to have to get up there as quick as possible and does a very good job at that. And he made sure the sweet spot the ledge there with the short, the short sweet spot. That's the only way to sweet spot the ledge with no limit on Cloud. Yeah. Is to do the up B and then catch the limit or catch the ledge in the very first few frames, just like that. Yep, absolutely. But Zenodo, he's uh, looking pretty sharp at the start of this. Yeah, man. Zenodo's been doing a fantastic job here today, man. Not only in just the singles, but in just doubles, just overall, man. I mean, and then not to mention uh, the 2GG event that he did famously well at. Uh -huh. I mean, he's just all over the place. Looking to become uh, the country's best Diddy. Oh, and he's going to actually fire all the way through. Making sure that that second detail didn't connect, which would have been, which would have led to a gimp. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Uh oh. Gets a grab. All right. The up air doesn't connect. When the up air certainly would have killed. Yes. And this is one thing that uh, Zenodo and JJ Rockets and Diddy Kongs in Chicago have been trying to do versus these clouds is call out jumps with up smash. Yes. I think that's the way Zenodo's going to look to see out the stock. Oh, right, the fourth throw? No, not yet. He's get the fourth throw, but he is charging his limit. And he is almost all the way there. The platform is there, though, yeah, to okay. cushion his landing. Yeah, Cloud likes to be in the air here, and that's why Zenodo is so effective at anti airing. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to be the key here in this matchup. Absolutely, man. Forward air, going to whiff, but he baits a grab. You know, Ned is starting to catch these rolls. You know, and it's actually funny that you bring that up because there's been a lot of roll reads here today. Just not, not only just in this match, but in Smash and Splash 2 just in general. Midwest uh, is good at rolling, man. Yeah. We're good at staying on a roll. <laughs> okay, so we got Rage Diddy Kong right now. Zenodo got one of the most dangerous characters in the game, if not probably the most dangerous one at high percent. Getting ready here to face off against uh, SSB Ned. All right, yeah. He's going to just try to catch his landing with up air. Um, Monkey Flip is one of the greatest landing options in the game, however, and that is a big tool in Zenodo's back pocket. Forward air lands. But doesn't get the sweet hit like he was anticipating. Uh, very good choice there. Um, I think that Ned was hunting for the uh, Monkey Flip yeah. to get back onto the ledge and try to throw it a cross slash or something to catch it. Now, does Michigan have a lot of clouds? I mean, I'm sure they have a lot of everything, but I don't think do they have any clouds out there. Uh, or does everybody kind of like have cloud. a uh, have That a back air will land. That's going to be a stock. Uh, Ned is starting to clean this up a little. Yes. Um, Sensational is the most well-known cloud in okay. Michigan. Okay. And Zenodo, I don't think, has dropped a set to Seth. Sorry. Although I could be wrong. Uh, Michigan, feel free to correct me in the chat if you guys are watching. And I know you are. And Ned here, he's a... Uh, he has really sealed it up a little bit, but Zenodo, he's just kind of chipping away, chipping away, landing these forward airs, getting one banana at a time, and it's led to a big lead. He's been doing a good job at keeping Cloud off stage. Every time he gets that limit, he forces him to use it for his up special. Mm -hmm. Down tilt lands. Zenodo lands for free, though. Basically. Okay, he catches the banana himself. And That'll cost him the stock, though. Yes. I mean, he had the right idea. He had the right idea. And Ned is very upset with how that last match just went. I think he played it well. He did a very good job. He did conventional mm -hmm. cloud things. and just unfortunately fell a little short. Caught very that banana at the last second. That was rough. Very well played, though, by Zenodo. Um, yeah. He's kind of showing a little bit of a clinical understanding of the matchup, using that down tilt with cloud off stage. Yeah. That's something I don't see our clouds or our ditties do very much in the matchup. Um, and that's something we could all learn. Yeah, because that last match ended very strange. I mean, he caught that banana pill, which means that I think he wanted to go for an attack because he seen Diddy was coming, but unfortunately it would have just resulted in him throwing the banana pill anyway. Uh-huh. Yeah. Which would have just got the force match. Clouds like to go camping in trees. Mm -hmm. Treetops are one of their, well, their home bases. Right. And uh, thank goodness we are not listening to uh, 
Swan Lesson. <laughs> I cannot stand Swan Lesson. It's actually so aggravating. But I digress. Um, again, Diddy Kong, he's starting out strong here. Yeah. He's got control. Yeah, man, has a very strong lead here. 50%, a little over 30 seconds into the match. And that's another limit that was forced on recovery. Mm -hmm. Keeping him off stage, too. Oh! Wow, he tried to come in at like a really weird angle to hit him out of that uh, climb hazard. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite land it. And the dog, actually, you know, that banana would have fallen and broken him out of the grab. But yeah. the dog, having a little bit of a good time. Oh All my right. god. And that's why Cloud's like the stage. Mm -hmm. You can mix up your recovery with that. Oh, wow. And having a bit of an issue solidifying stocks like that, man. I mean, I really like to see one of those down smash connects. I know Zenodo has the will to do it, but... That was really more of a part of very good spacing on that climb hazard by Ned. He really found like that you can still grab the ledge and kind of stay away from that down smash if you do it a little bit further away. It's very small spacing distance difference yeah. than if you just hog the wall. Oh, and that down here lands. Cloud with Rage is a thing, so a very watch out, everybody. Thing. Okay, so he was going for Sour Dare, probably into finishing touch there. It just runs Whoa! right up on the floor. Rest in peace, that shit. What? Oh, no. And just whiffs it all together. Diddy Kong Zenodo finding a way to live. Nice pivot grab, though, on Ned's behalf to keep him back off stage. And went uncomfortably low for no what reason. What the heck is this game right now? That was really weird. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about any of it. But second hit of that fourth smash going to connect. Now we have an even stock game. Yeah, man. Hung on by the skin of his teeth there, but then just, just to SD five seconds later. How disheartening. And right now, Cloud trying to hold him in the stage. He gets a grab, but he, you know, I've seen a lot of people. Like, Dan did that a lot in doubles, where he would just get pummels and then not even commit to a throw. Yeah. Which is weird. That is very weird. I Absolutely. think you want to take the damage, especially in single. Like, in doubles, he was, like, really looking for a knight to come follow up. But sometimes Knight was just, oh my god! No, we living. Oh, and ooh, oh. and I don't, I don't know if he would have made it back, but unfortunately, Ned ran right into him and was gave him that little extra oomph towards um, the ledge. Ned went for the back air out of them, the uh, barrels. Mm -hmm. If that had landed, yeah. it wouldn't have stage spiked at a very strong angle due to the verticality of the wall. Yeah. It would have given Zenodo another chance to recover, but it would have also given Ned another chance to go for an edge guard. Absolutely, man. So many missed opportunities in this match, man. I'm not quite sure if, if the if the nerves are starting to set in. I mean, this has been a very, very close and very, very proficient set between both of these two gentlemen. Oh, yeah. This is very interesting play. And that banana extending the hitbox of the up air so that Zenodo fell into it. Yeah. And Ned's playing really clean right now. He's got to just find a way to convert. He's got the limit to do so. That he does. And Zenodo knows that, so he's doing a lot of shield approaching here, uh -huh. looking for some very strong punishes here. Conversely, Zenodo really needs to get Ned off stage. That he Force does. Force that climb hazard. That's going to relieve a lot of pressure. And then he takes out the duck with the banana. And Ned, he chooses to up air the banana there, try to clear it out of the stage. Mm -hmm. um, instead of like neutral, I think neutral air would have been a better option. Yes. Uh oh. It's a grab. And he, oh, Ned, he threw out a, uh, he threw out a limit in the middle of that skirmish somewhere, mm -hmm. and it got interrupted. So that is a huge win for Zenodo. That it is. He gets a little bit too close, and actually Ned's the one with the banana pill now. How scary can that be? Now he's getting he's getting a lot of grabs. He's finding Zenodo just running up shielding, and limits back. Oh. Trying to change the pace of the game instead of holding that limit for as long as he can. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I think that would have been a fair right there had the dog not came and saved Zenodo at the last second. Oh, the oh. air comes out! Ned is going to force a game three. Okay. Things are looking up for that man, Ned. It looked like on that second stock, he was starting to get a little bit of a download. Like, not. It, it's really hard to say that someone's downloading Zenodo, right? Because yeah. Zenodo is obviously very good. Oh, yeah. Like, top level player. Yeah. But at, like the, at the micro level, Ned was really starting to read those bananas and, mm -hmm. like, just get grabbed. And, like, the fact that. He wasn't really beating Zenodo's shield is fine because he's just getting grabs and then winning this slow war of attrition where you get a grab and you get a throw and you get a little bit of damage and you get state control and that led to that neutral or KO. Absolutely, man. Diddy Kong has so many killing tools that at high percent he has like so many different killing options amongst the cast and I think with Cloud, Ned knew what he wanted, man. He was really trying to throw him off stage, keep him out there and go for some down tills, maybe some down smashes, really try to screw up his landing and his recovery, but mm -hmm. Ned finding light at the end of this tunnel doing a very good job. And there, uh, Zenodo goes for a down tilt out of that banana instead of going for the grab. Oh, wow, that forward air was a big call out. Yeah. Looking for that forward roll. Yeah, now both of you guys are going to have to be safe here, man. We're here today on Town and City, man. The ceiling here is on the lower side. Not, I mean, yeah, probably the lowest. Yeah, oh, this is the lowest ceiling yeah, this, in the game. Yeah, this is the lowest ceiling. 
dead. He is really reading Zenodo's movement right now. Well, yeah, well, you lowest ceiling like, in, in terms yeah. of, like, legal stages. Yeah, oh, yeah. well. Because then we got, like, parts and pieces of Del Clino yeah, that are let, just, let, like... Let's not what? talk about some of those illegal stages. <laughs> right. There's another down tilt. Big on Zenodo here. He's forcing those limits. Catches it, the monkey flip with an up air. And there, he's going to just delete the bananas as often as he can. Yeah, he's doing a very good job at that, too. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. God. That's not a good spot for him to be in. He went and as low as he could. But D2 up smash, yeah. even on the low ceiling. Yeah. Cloud's going to live. Not enough. Maybe not enough race second with the second one. one, man. Second time's a charm. Not the third one, but the second one would be this time. Zenodo needed that pretty badly. He needed the breather of having the stock lead. Mm -hmm. And up air coming out. Second one, not going to be enough to KO. Absolutely not, man. 104%. Zenodo's still hanging in there. And he's really starting to pull out all the stops here on Ned. Yeah, and remember we were saying that Ned was so content in just getting grabs? Yeah. If Zenodo gets grabs, that's a lot more percent than if Ned does. Yes. Simply do the Oh, but that cross is gonna catch the landing. We have an even game. He's been doing a very good job at catching not only his landing, but like all his monkey flips back on the stage too. So he's definitely been studying this Diddy Kong matchup probably oh, for wow. the last time that they played. Ned was trying to Wow, we got a crab out of that other. Uh, Ned was trying to safely charge that limit up there, but Zenodo called it out. Um, this is a situation, though, where anything can happen. Absolutely. Um, Diddy has a gimpable recovery, so... Oh, my God! No way! Oh, no! Wow! What patch is this? Landing up air to finishing touch. Ned clutches it versus Sonoto. Amazing play. And the Ned chants are starting to come out, and the crowd goes wild, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, can we... Wow. Is, is that an upset? I mean, is it...